The number of valence electrons has a big impact on the chemical properties of elements. The reason that there is this periodic variation in element properties is because the number of valence electrons is also periodic. So if we look at the noble gases, the noble gases have eight valence electrons, except for helium, eight valence electrons. They are particularly low in energy and particularly stable. That means they don't react with much of anything. So in my chemistry land, um, these are the cool kids in high school, the ones that everybody's trying to be like. They're just like completely good with themselves. They're like, we are awesomeness, just pure awesomeness. And everybody else is trying to be like them. Okay? They are not going to react because that would mess up their awesomeness. Other elements are going to react in a way that they're going to try to get the same electron configuration as these guys. The electrons are on the outside. I think of them as being like your clothing. You can dress like someone. You can make yourself look like someone else. You, you can't become them, but you can look like them. So the elements are reacting so that their electrons look like the noble gases. Mm -hmm. so the, the reason the transition metals can have different ions, is that due to the fact that they have those like, core electrons they can fill? Yeah, the, the transition metals are going to have more complicated, you know, different numbers of ions because of having often the two valence electrons, but then also those d orbitals are, are actually very close in energy to the, the 4s or the, the previous s, and so there's a lot of funny things that can happen. Yeah. It's not really predictable from the periodic table, but we can understand, oh, that's why they're like that. The, the main group elements, um, it's, it's much easier to understand. So the alkali metals we mentioned earlier are very reactive. Hydrogen is in that group, even though it's not a metal. Very reactive. The reason they're so reactive is they've got one electron extra. So they're like the noble gas, except they've got this one extra electron. Mom made me wear this stupid hat to school, right? If I could just take the hat off, I'd be fine. So they do whenever they can. They're going to lose that one valence electron. That's why they form plus one ions. Because when lithium loses that S electron, that 2S electron, it now has the same number of electrons as helium. It has the same electron configuration as the noble gas. Yeah. When an atom loses an electron, does it move up to bond with the other atom? Um, when when an atom loses an electron, it it donates it to another atom. No, they don't become joined. What, what causes ionic compounds to form compounds is the, the attraction between the positive and negative charges. Um, alkyl and earth metals in group 2A are also quite reactive, not as much as the first. They tend to lose two electrons because they take off those two valence electrons and then they have the same number of electrons as a noble gas. They have the same electron configuration. The halogens are on the other side of the noble gases. They're one electron short of having eight valence electrons. So these are the elements that very, very readily will gain an electron. Sodium's over there trying to get rid of an electron. Fluorine or chlor chlorine is like, hey, I'll take it because I'm just missing this one piece of clothing so that I can look like the cool people. If fluorine gains one electron, it then has the same electron configuration as neon. Question? So if it becomes a 2s2, 2p6, mm -hmm. the name for it would be fluorine two plus uh, one negative ion? Yeah, so when, when fluorine gains one electron, so then it becomes, oops, then it becomes F minus, which we call fluoride. 
and its electron configuration will be 2s2, 2p6, which is the same as neon. It doesn't become neon, though, because the number of protons didn't change, and that's why it has a charge now, because it gained an electron. We, we know fluoride, we can indicate it either by writing its name, fluoride, mm -hmm. or the symbol with the negative sign. Okay. And fluoride, we don't have to specify the charge because these group 7A elements always form negative one ions. The reason is because by gaining one electron, they get a noble gas electron configuration. So these, are again, are the atoms that form predictable ions. These are all going to be plus one, because by losing their one valence electron, they get the same electron configuration as the noble gases. These lose two electrons. These guys lose three. Zinc and silver, zinc loses two, silver loses one. You just have to remember that. The, the, this model of the elements does not really explain that, um, but nitrogen and phosphorus are going to gain three electrons to become like the noble gases. These guys gain two, these guys gain one. So the closer an element is to the noble gases, the more reactive it is, because the easier it is, the more motivation it has for doing just that little bit, losing one or gaining one electron.